Okay, welcome to the lesson of orange belt strikes. And this time I brought my friend Bob because I want to explain a few things. Okay, first thing, it's like a basic rule. When you hit something hard, use something soft. If you hit something soft, use something hard. So if we're looking at like a human being, his skull, for example, here is very hard. Punching there with your fist Probably not a very good idea, but the chest, which is reasonably soft, or let's say here, the abdomen, no problem. So there you want something hard. Later on, we'll also start uh, pressure point strikes, but that's out of the scope for, for orange belt yet. Okay, so let's return to the jab cross we did for yellow belt. We want you to start up building speed and making combinations. So you're here, jab, 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 cross, jab, cross, cross, okay? Then jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, stuff like, like that. So otherwise you get stuck in just one, two, one, two, one, two, 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 yeah? One, one, two. Sure. So you have to start making more combinations, combine things, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, cross, jab, cross, jab, stuff like that. Yeah, work on those skills. Then when you can do a jab cross, we can do the same with palm wheel strike. So one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So use your palm. Again, if you want to hit that skull, here, this is no problem. Also, very good way, get somebody off of you. One, one, two. Okay, so palm wheel strikes. Basic palm wheel strike for practice. Hand up. And it's more like you throw your hand away. You throw your hand away. But in a more practical sense, it's like almost the same as your jab cross. One, two. Okay? One, two. So, palm wheel strike is the first orange belt strike. For yellow belt, we did the outside strikes. Okay? Now we're for orange belt, we'll do the inside strikes, but let's look at the outside strikes again. So, one, here. So this is your knife hand against someone's like, side of the, of the neck. You can also do it with a fist. One, here. Or we saw you can do it with your forearm. One, the forearm strike, however, is in a more practical sense, is not to swing it out, but to kind of like push it forward. If you do it with both hands, one here, it's also an excellent push to keep someone away from you. So, one here. So use the ridge of your forearm, place it in this, like, you know, like the diagonal jaw line here, one. So, and then the other person gets like this, pushed against the neck, and that's a nasty feeling. So, one here. And now you can continue. So now let's look at the inside strikes. First, I'm going to do them in a very basic way, or more like maybe like a traditional way, and then we're going to add some practicality to it. So, first one is an inside knife hand strike. The traditional way, you start in defensive stance, you bring your arm up, you step forward and you strike. Well, it's all from the start, it's obvious when I do this, that you see what's coming. So that's not a good way. But, and you will notice this in other lessons as well, what we usually do first, we make motions very, very big, and then slowly we try to make them faster. I've also said before, um, you know, like speed comes through repetition. So if I just start with a very big motion, one, two, yeah, slowly but surely, yeah, I'm making it faster. What you see me do, look, basic, arm up, step forward, strike. And now you see almost no hip movement, so that's not good. But up and step at the same time, move in, use those hips. And this motion here, it's like almost, it's like almost like 
I'm coming forward, one, and then make my strike. So I'm defending my center line here, one, and then make my center so I'm here. Of course, now I'm almost opening up my center line, but here, one, two, I'm still defending my center line. So that's the traditional way to do the inside uh, knife hand strike. Almost the same way inside forearm strike. One, two, but this one, just like we saw previously with the outside knife and uh, forearm strike, I can do here. So it's not swinging inward, like twisting forward. So here, one, against, one, against. If you need a little bit more distance, you can also opt not to use your forearm, but your fist. So then it becomes a fist. You can use, swing the fist in, just like you would with your knife and strike, or you can like rotate that arm forward against the face. Then there's one more kind of traditional strike. It's the inner edge strike. So your knife hand is on this side, the inner edge is on the... You bring your thumb inside here, one, and hit. So one, hit. Traditional way, one, in, use those hits. In, more practical way, just like bring it up, hit. Bring it up, hit. Move those hips in, hit. You also sometimes see it in a downward fashion, like, uh, like that. Okay. Next two strikes, the hook and the uppercut. Just like you have like a jab and a cross, like a short punch and a long punch, you have the short hook and you have the long hook. So right foot is behind, this would be the short hook, this would be the long hook. Important, just as with a normal punch, twist the arm. If I don't twist, usually my head is sticking out. If I twist, one, look, my arm is now covering my face. One, one, but I want to use my, my hip and really using the turn of my inside leg helps me generate more twist. But if you've got very flexible hips, maybe you don't need it, but it can definitely help. So that's the shorter hook. Another thing to remember, keep your arm in a straight angle. So don't do one, no, hmm. this. Here, twist, hit, twist, hit, twist, hit. And use your like big knuckles here, not the smaller one. Long hook, same way, so twist and hit. Rotate, one, 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 like this, or here, here. Maybe by this time, when you're practicing a lot, you might want to get yourself some gloves. Uh, like ones where you can still use your hands with the grip. I find them very, very useful. And they don't have to be expensive. Just look online, find yourself a few nice uh, gloves. Okay. After the hook comes the uppercut. The hook and the uppercut, so like your jab and your cross, they're more like distance two punches. Jab and cross. Uh, so well, sorry, uh, jab and cross. Hooks. You need to be closer. Uppercuts. You need to be closer. As well okay short uppercut so with your front arm and the big one here so up so one two one so again use your hip you have to push your hip up a bit but not all the way so you want to get a little bit in and up and up and up don't make this butt motion too big to don't like one two but one here, up. Another thing, 
breathing with your punches. I haven't talked about this yet, uh, but with kicking and punches, you need to breathe out or key up. So breathe out. Usually when it comes like, just throw the air out. But for a big punch, it's like the, usually like the, the final punch, it's like, and then kick. So a key up. Later we get into it when we're doing breathing, basic breathing in through your nose, push the air to your stomach, and then when you're out, it's like, like an exploding out. And when you release the air, just like, get out. So this is a key up. We really like to hear key ups. So with kicks and punches, throw out those key ups. It's just that when I'm teaching, it's like not always, uh, like when I'm doing key ups, it gives too much noise and I have to talk and explain and stuff like that. But key ups, definitely very important. Okay, also for orange belt, like I already told you, start making combinations here. The same thing, one, two, hook, yeah? one, two, three, uppercut. Yeah? So slowly just stand in front or just do it like we call it shadow boxing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah? Combine those. Make sure is that your body gets comfortable doing more than just one punch in a row. Make sure you use those hips. It has no use, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are no punches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Watch your stance, watch your balance. Make sure you move your hips, body structure. So breathe out. So. Every punch, breathe out. Is a good way to start. Okay? So these are the strikes for orange belt. It's time to do your test and then we can continue to the next lesson.